What's going on guys, Justin Howells here. Today I wanna to take you through a full day of eating on a low carb day. I also wanna show you how I've been using intermittent fasting and why I think it's the go-to for me, for my clients, and why I'm recommending it to so many more people now. So if you've been interested in intermittent fasting and you think this is something you wanna try, I'm hoping that this video will shed some insight into why you should try it and give you an idea on how to go about starting it up. And for those of you who want to try carb cycling or just go on a lower carb diet, I'm hoping this will give you an idea on how you can go about eating on days like that. I hope this video helps you guys out. If it does, smash that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Alright, so my macros for the day are 2,000 calories, 10% carbs, 50% protein, and 40% fat. So of course, because we're going low carb, we're going higher fat. Those macro percentages come out to 50 grams of carbs, 250 grams of protein, and 89 grams of fat. As you just saw, I had three whole eggs, two egg whites, two slices of high protein bread, two servings of Mexican four cheese, and two ounces of hickory smoked maple ham. It was dang. That came out to 710 calories, 66 grams of protein, 23 grams of carbs, and 38 grams of fat. I had my two slices of toast because this is my pre-workout meal. I'm gonna have another form of carbs post-workout. Again, this is why I love intermittent fasting. Typically, a low-carb day like this would be torture if you were eating you know, five to six meals a day, you're just hungry after every single meal. With intermittent fasting, your appetite is suppressed. And so then when you are eating these low carb meals, you're actually eating enough to where you're very full and satisfied. So your cravings tend to be down and it just overall doesn't feel as bad not eating carbs. Like if you're like me, you love carbs, but using intermittent fasting, it's just not that bad. So typically I don't break my fast until 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. However, lately, especially utilizing these low carb days that just tend to be much harder, I don't end up eating until like 4 to 5 p.m. So today I broke my fast at 4.30 p.m. And so my day's already halfway done. I've eaten about 700 calories, which is almost half of my total caloric intake for the day. So you can already start to see how closing that window where you can eat is gonna really help you stick to your set calories, stick to your set macros, even if it's really low carb. Bruh. Now when it comes to that eating and fasting window, there are multiple ways to do it. I'm just going to go into the one way I do it and that's the 16 hour fast, eight hour eating window. Now the way I go about these windows is I'm not crazy strict with them. I just try to stay within one to two hours. So I have a general idea, but I'm also tracking all of my macros throughout this. So. If it's 10 p.m. and that's my official time to stop eating, but I still have a couple hundred calories left, I'm still gonna eat before bed. You know, it's before bed anyway, so I'm gonna eat and go to sleep. I'm not gonna have to worry about eating and then potentially going over my calories later on. And that's the main reason I use intermittent fasting is to close that window where we could potentially go over our calories. And I've just learned from experience, it's so much easier to not eat when you haven't eaten yet. And that's where I noticed another benefit of intermittent fasting is the improvemental focus and energy while you're fasted in the morning. Some people, you know, maybe it doesn't work for you. Maybe you just feel terrible while you're fasted. Although if this is you, I encourage you to try it out for a solid week or two, just to really give it a chance, see if you adjust. Because I have noticed a huge boost in productivity when I'm fasted. So some days my fasting window is strictly determined by just how busy I am. So if I'm super busy in the morning, I don't wanna to have to worry about cooking or preparing food or whatever. I just want to get everything done and I'll worry about eating later. I'll get in the meals. Now this leads us to another question about intermittent fasting and that's, do you work out fasted? For me, the answer is it depends, but most of the time, no. For you, working out might not really hinder your performance. You might feel great when you're working out fasted and that's awesome, but for me, I've found that I need a little something before. so. Even if I'm in my fasted window, I'll have a little protein bar, and I know this means I'm technically not fasted anymore, 
But like I said, the main point, the main reason why I use intermittent fasting is just to push off my calories to later in the day. I just wanna save as much as I can for later because that's when I normally like to eat anyway and that's when I'm at the greatest risk of going over calories if I finish them too early. So for me, generally, I like to have a protein bar before and a protein shake after, just making sure those are the only calories I consume until I get closer to my official eating window. The exception is if I ate really late or maybe I didn't eat too well or I ate too much and I'm working out a little earlier, you know, like I still feel full, I'm not even hungry when I wake up or a few hours after I wake up, that's when I'll work out fasted. I almost feel like it helps me cleanse out what's already in me sounds a little weird but yeah it just feels a lot better to work out fast to kind of dump that excess glycogen dump some water and it just helps me feel better sometimes in your fasted window you want to make sure you're drinking a ton of water it's just going to add to that cleansing effect that fasting has it's going to help keep you full and on top of this i like to have some black coffee some unsweet tea or maybe even some zero cow monsters a bang something like that it helps add to that mental clarity that focus that mental boost you get from fasting and it helps push off that hunger a little bit longer. So, who is intermittent fasting good for? Honestly, I'd say intermittent fasting is good for just about everyone, and that's why I'm recommending it more and more, is because it's so practical. Most people don't wanna eat four to six meals a day, and a lot of people just don't even have the time to. I did it for a couple years, trust me, in my earlier days of building my physique, I thought that was the only way you could do it. You had to eat like five to six meals to build muscle or burn fat, and that's just not the case, guys. The most important factor is your caloric intake and protein intake. Carbs and fats do play a role, but for the most part, they are interchangeable and become more important the leaner you get and the more you learn your body, you might realize that carbs just aren't the best idea for you, or at least a lot of carbs aren't. That just totally depends person to person, but overall, intermittent fasting itself, pushing off your meal later in the day is so good for productive individuals, busier individuals, and people who just wanna eat fewer, larger meals and stick to their goal. So here's a quick overview on intermittent fasting. One, you wanna fast 16 hours since your previous meal the night before, and you wanna allow yourself an eight hour eating window. So I found it's just easiest to set the eight hour eating window and don't be too strict, but try to stay within one to two hours of that eating window. From there, as long as you track your calories, you can finish eating anytime you'd like, ideally at or after your official eating window. This way you are at a far less risk of going over calories. Two, through your fasting window, you wanna be drinking tons of water, unsweet tea, black coffee, zero cal energy drinks, anything that helps keep your energy going and keep your appetite suppressed. Three, it's totally optional as to whether you want to work out fasted, just judge it based off of how you're feeling, how you react with fasted workouts, and go from there. Just remember to keep your calories low until you hit your official window. And finally, I'd just like to say, intermittent fasting is in no way faster at burning fat than any other technique. It's simply that I feel it's the most practical and it helps make it mentally easier to stick to your goal without feeling like you're starving or irritable or just not having a good time. I hope you guys found this bit on intermittent fasting useful. Let me know if you tried it out in the comments. Let me know what you thought. If you have anything to add, hit that like button if you did enjoy it. Right now, I'm gonna go hit a workout and then show you guys my post-workout low-carb meal. So I'm about to get in this post-workout meal. It's the last of my legit carbs, getting in some sweet potato fries. And I wanted to say, you know, normally you wanna watch out for frozen stuff like this, uh, especially on some kind of prep where you're trying to keep your sodium a little on the lower end, you know, for less water retention. But I found these Alexia spicy sweet potato fries and damn, they're good. Uh, 140 calories for three ounces, only 250 milligrams of sodium. And for the most part, I'm familiar with majority of the ingredients on here. So not too bad of an option, whether you're prepping for something or you just need 
something pretty healthy for a little side. All right, so we got our sweet potato fries, just some 93% lean ground beef with some taco seasoning and some baby spinach with some Greek feta dressing. And of course, I had to throw a couple futons in there. So the post-workout meal is done. It was 674 calories, 75 grams of protein, 23 grams of carbs, and 29 grams of fat. All right, so I just have one more meal and then it's time for bed. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ready and get this last meal in. My very last meal is just gonna be a random concoction of protein-based foods that I have laying around the house because you know it's getting late, that's always always when I'm the laziest and I just end up putting together whatever. So this is what I got for today. Got the Go Cereal Milk Protein, two scoops of that, 10 ounces of unsweetened vanilla almond milk, very low calorie. Of course, the Quest Protein Chips, good, super filling. And this, guys, this is the key. Low calorie, high protein brownie batter, just look at these macros, 110 calories, seven grams of fat, five grams of carbs, and 10 grams of protein. I'm gonna show you what this stuff is about right now. Okay, so before I show you the amazing, wonderful, godsend, high protein brownie batter, first we gotta check out this downlighting. Okay, so the macros on this meal are 540 calories, 83 grams of protein, 19 grams of carbs, and 16 grams of fat. So I am ending up about 15 grams of carbs over. I'm really not concerned about it. My calories are so low, and I was basically right there. So not gonna beat myself up about it. I'm happy with that. All right guys, showing you this brownie batter. It's by this company called G Butter. I've actually never heard of them before this. Looks kind of like this at first, and I mean, you can actually just eat that straight up. It's really good, but yeah. Check this out. I'm gonna take two scoops, it's one serving. It's supposed to come out to 40 grams. Wow, that's 40 on the dot. That's what it looks like before we put it in the microwave. Again, this is really good just by itself like that. But, throw it in the microwave. 30 seconds. And behold the magic. Ah! Check this out. Insta brownie. This might as well be a full on brownie. Mmm. All right guys, so that does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you got some ideas as to how you can go about a low carb day. Hope you guys decided whether or not you wanna use or try intermittent fasting. I really recommend it. But anyways guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got something out of it. If you did, subscribe, comment, whatever. Just let me know what you thought. Give me some feedback, some constructive criticism. All right, that does it for me. See you guys next time.